we have this youngsters you are mentoring some of them we would love to know how you see their progress to the candidates and uh, what the future holds for them so to start with vidit gujarati he has been quite strong for a long time he's been working with anish uh, for quite some time really his confidence has come rather slowly in 2019 he played a fairly impressive tournament in vikingsay then again he seemed to disappear for a while it seemed to me that he really needed a fire uh, in his backside before he responded he has his ups and downs and um, last year was good he had a very good result in uh, world cup he only didn't qualify by very little and then uh, this unexpectedly easy grand swiss i say unexpectedly easy because at times it seems the points were almost forcing themselves onto him uh, it it gives an impression now it's always nice when that happens but that he won two games at the end and even clinched unshared first that uh, showed that um, he was in his element and i think it's because of all this pressure of uh, you know gukesh and prag and everything breathing down his back he, fi- he finally clicked and uh, after that he's been generally very very good next is uh, our own chennai kid pragyananda prag your thoughts about him in a sense very similar where his potential was revealed very very early and it was always clear that he had a natural gift we've gotten so used to him now that it's hard to remember that uh, till may last year he was struggling within the definition of the word it didn't look like uh, anything was changing but then suddenly in uh, he won this tournament in hungary he qualified in the world cup and then suddenly he was the top scorer in the global chess league he was the top um, scorer in dusseldorf he did well in grand swiss though he didn't need to qualify good stable performance suddenly he was outperforming everywhere now i think he just feels more confident and he has already set his sights might hi- much higher i wouldn't be surprised if he qualified for the final and how do you see gukesh chances going into the candidates very similar to what i would say for prag except gukesh is by nature more volatile his results swing much more you know he's had real disasters which prag hasn't faced in a very long time if at all, i can't remember a huge disaster but then he has the strength to come back which is good because he needs it he has these he has bigger swings within his thing but it's also because he's much more ambitious he's i think trying to push his limits look i don't know how uh, all of them will evolve and at this point they're changing very fast and their experiences are also making them change fast i think though that um, what i suggested to him that it's um, around about the time the olympiad finished and so on i suggested to him that he should maybe work more closely with Gaevsky because his openings needed stabilizing he would need a full time trainer and all that that has driven a lot of thing as well because he's working and training very hard he's um, never going to have a problem with uh, work or finding the ability to work my observation about him is he finds it harder to relax and you you need a balance in everything so i think he he needs to compensate on the other side it's usually the opposite way tell youngster you have to work harder you have to relax more <laughs> so that's going to be fun with him and uh, our latest grandmaster vaishali vaishali did a condensed version of what prag did i mean essentially long struggle and then the sky is hope opened so to speak you know this uh, grand swiss result was huge and after that uh, she got her grandmaster title as well huge achievement hopefully she's going to ride that confidence i think uh, she now has the strength and maybe even the self belief that uh, i mean she herself mentioned that at some point uh, she realized prag had gotten much stronger than her her recent performances uh, she is, has given her the confidence she really needs of course the fifth candidate uh, one of the strongest women players uh, india has ever produced uh, konaru hampi she is coming to it from a totally different uh, perspective she's been here done all this before and then she's at a new stage in her life uh, she's now a parent she's uh, she's a mother she has to combine balance all that she plays uh, less sometimes she goes months without playing but then comes back she can surprise you uh, in the last couple of years i've really been impressed by her performance in the world rapid and blitz and uh, that shows i think that her connection and feeling for the game is very good she's going to be sensible and uh, s- stable in the candidates and hopefully that is enough <laughs>